Have you wondered, are we living in the last days? And how would you know? Well, let me show you what's happening. First, let me go to the scripture. I want to go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Here's what it says. It says, Now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ and our gathering together to him, we ask you not to soon be shaken in mind or troubled, either by spirit or by word or by letter, as if from us, as though the day of Christ had come. Look at verse 3 here. Let no one deceive you by any means, for that day, that means the return of Christ, will not come unless the falling away comes first, and the man of sin is revealed, the son of perdition. Unless the falling away, now the actual Greek word there is apostea or apostasy. This is called the great apostasy. And you go, well, what does it look like to see apostasy? What does it look like to have apostasy rampant? Let me show you. This is a news article here from the Toronto Sun. Lily, high school student suspended, arrested for saying only two genders. Now, you may go, well, how's that apostasy? That's absurd, yes. That's wokeism uh, to its finest. But how is this apostasy? Let's look at the article just a little bit, shall we? In the name of diversity, a Catholic school in Renfrew suspended a student and had him arrested for saying there are only two genders. Yeah, you read that right. Now, I'm going to make something clear, and it's going to become clear. There's a little bit of a clickbait there. But saying that he was arrested for saying there's two genders, that's not actually true. It's exactly what I thought it would happen. But I want you to notice that it is a Catholic school. A Catholic school. Now, whatever you think about Catholicism is irrelevant here. Even in Catholicism, they still hold that God created the male and female. So, so what happened? Let's pull up the story here. On Monday, Alexander returned to class and was promptly met by the vice principal, arrested by two local police officers and charged with trespassing. The now seemingly former student of St. Joseph's Catholic High School told the National Post in an interview that he made comments during a class discussion on gender. It was m about male students using female washrooms, gender dysphoria, and male breastfeeding. Hey, that, that's bad enough. The, the separate is, these are topics you got to talk about, but you should be talking about them correctly. And it's a Catholic school that should have been holding at least to the Catholic teachings. But here's what happened. He says, I said there were only two genders, and you were born either male or a female, and that got me into trouble. And then I said that gender doesn't trump biology. I applaud this student. Yes, give him applause. He is standing up for reality. He's standing up. Not only that, since he's in a Catholic school, the foundation of Catholicism, like they like to say, is both the scriptures and tradition. That's how they say it, Catholic tradition. The scriptures clearly make this defined out 100%. In the beginning, God made them male and female. God created man and female in his own image. And in the image of God, he created He created them. And then even Jesus at the very beginning said it was male and female. There's only two. There's only two. And it doesn't trump biology. How you feel should never trump reality. Especially in a school that purports that there is supposed to be an absolute truth. Therefore, what you feel is irrelevant on that matter. Uh, so let's go. Uh, it says, uh, those statements in line with Catholic teaching were what got him suspended from school. So that's what happened. He was suspended. So the lawyer representing Alexander said that the school won't let him attend classes again until he agrees not to use the dead name and that's in quotations, dead name, or in other words, their real name, of any transgender student and agreed to exclude him, exclude himself from his two afternoon classes because those classes are attended by two transgender students who disapprove of Josh's religious beliefs. Think about that for a second. They're attending a Catholic school. They should know what the Catholic school teaches. And the Catholic school capitulating to them is kicking out the student who's holding to Catholic doctrine. Think about that. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Alexander told National Post that he'd never dead named another student, meaning using their original name before transitioning. As for trans students disapproving of Alexander's religious beliefs, 
maybe they want to reflect on the fact that they are attending a Catholic school, or at least one that calls itself a Catholic school. So this incident shows why it might be time to finally say goodbye to Ontario's publicly funded Catholic school system. There's nothing Catholic about it. They adhere to the same secular gospel as all other public institutions, and it is beyond saving. Now, I want to make one thing clear here. I didn't read it, it there yet. Is the fact that this came up in a discussion, in a class discussion. It's not like he was standing outside proclaiming this. It's not like he went up to these two and just said it right into their faces to cause a problem. He said it during the discussion. So during class time, he was allowed he should have been allowed to voice it. This is, I say this to someone who graduated from the Catholic system, that's the article, whose children all attend Catholic schools and whose values the distinct education that I and my children received. That distinct education is no longer distinct when, in the name of diversity, the person adhering to Catholic teaching is the one who is excluded. Anyone who looks into Alexander's social media presence will see that he, he is a political activist. He's pro-life. He favors a red ball cap that reads Save Canada on the front. He's even been photographed at protests against the Trudeau government on Parliament Hill. All of that will, will see critics say that Alexander doesn't deserve any sympathy, that he got what was coming to him. This is where we are in a political discourse in Canada. This young man is being denied an education for having a different viewpoint than those in power. But again, think of, this is at a supposed Catholic school. Yes, if you're not familiar with, Ontario, the province of Ontario has publicly funded Catholic schools. But it still has a Catholic school. What does it teach Alexander that the response to him saying that there are only two genders inside a Catholic school is that he is now excluded? The school administration is turning this young man into a martyr, whilst also showing they long ago abandoned the Catholic beliefs they say they uphold as a school. What does it teach the trans students who don't want Alexander in their class because they disagree with his religious beliefs? It teaches them that they have special powers, are more important than other students, and don't need to learn to deal with those they disagree with. No one will be well served by this. Perhaps we don't have the full story from Alexander or from the school board, but one thing is clear. In Ontario's school system, woke politics trumps everything else, including the rights of a teenager to serve an education. The entire system is rotten to the ground. I agree with that statement. The whole system is rotten to the ground. But again, this was a Catholic school. A Catholic holds to man and woman. And he's thrown out for expressing the Catholic religious beliefs in a Catholic school. Now, there's... <laughs> You want to see what apostasy looks like? That's apostasy. And it's coming more and more. Where a, a school that's supposed to have Catholic doctrine throws out somebody because they don't hold. They're thrown out for religious views in a religious, supposedly religious school. That is what is happening. That should never be. But this is the state of what is going on. You want to know if we're in the last days? Look at the apostasy that is rampant through, the, through what's calling itself Christianity. And you will see we are. Bravo to Alexander. I applaud him and I encourage him. Do not recant because they said they'll let him back in if he recants that statement. Never recant that. Stand firm on what is right. Stand firm on the truth no matter what happens. And if you're in Catholicism, I pray that you will seek the true and living Christ because he is the absolute truth. I hope you enjoyed the content. Hope you enjoyed that segment. Note that is just a segment of the full episode. If you would like to enjoy the full episode, click the link up there or you can get the podcast in any podcast app. Click there. If you'd like to help me out, you can subscribe, share, like. Uh, that just helps get the word out. You can click the one right there. You click that, you give a help out. I thank you for joining me and may you build on the foundation of Jesus Christ.